Good morning, my name is Lucas, and this is my first video for a YouTube channel I'm going to call Alabama Woodsman. And as, I, as you can see all around me, that I'm in a creek bed here. And it continues down uh, in front and behind me. And today I'd like to show you how to identify a type of stone that is of very high quality. And there are some key characteristics that I can show you that will make it easy to identify if you happen to come upon this. So this stone has a unique color, and it's the color of peanut butter. All right, and it has it's very smooth edges. We got a piece of it here. You can see. Let me get this wet so you can see the peanut butter color. So you can see that peanut butter color to it, and it's very smooth. It's got some definite fractures you can see, and uh, you would whenever I find this in the creek here, there's uh, you know there's a lot of rocks that get this layer of sedimentary dirt on it, and nine times out of ten this rock doesn't get it. Because there are not many, uh, uh, I think it's because there are not really many microscopic little holes in it that the dirt can seep into. And so it can make it easy to identify even if it's been sitting in the creek for a while. So, uh, this creek also has, you know, reg uh, flint that you would, you know, typical flint here, but it's less, uh, less abundant than the peanut butter colored, peanut butter colored stone. I found a piece right here. Let's see. Zoom in on it. This piece looks to be all right. So let's see. It's got that peanut butter color. It's got. It's pretty smooth. Does it have any good fractures? Um, a couple fractures here. So we're gonna hold on to this, and in a minute we're gonna break this open. And in a minute we're gonna break this open. But this could also be an imposter stone, is what I like to call it, and um, most often those are types of sandstone. And the sandstone can have that orange color to it, and sometimes it will develop that sedimentary dirt on it, sometimes it won't. But when it doesn't, it looks very convincing until you break it open, and then the inside's all gritty. But the inside of the the peanut butter stone is all smooth and makes very sharp, very thin flakes, which make good for arrowheads and uh, other tools that you can create here. So, as we're going along here, this is a good stretch of gravel. Let me put my spear down here. Alright, let's see. Well, there's this guy right here. He's pretty big. Uh, I don't often find them that big, but sometimes I do, so we'll pick it up and shoot, see what she does here. Alright, so another characteristic of this peanut butter stone is it's really dense and heavy. So this stone is pretty heavy, um, but I don't think it is because, you know, this right here, like this right here indicates that it might be sandstone. But we can hold on to that for a minute and uh, break it open. But uh, I think we'll put this down. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see. Well, let's see if I can find this rock for you. There it is. See this one right here it has that peanut butter color to it. it. Has a little bit of that sediment on it. But let's see. So does have some of that sediment on the top that could be from where it was sitting geologically before it was broken down and put in the creek you can see it's very very smooth and it has some fractures and it's consistent all the way around that's another key key factor is that this stone has a consistent color so I think this is some of that peanut butter stone it's a lot less gritty looking than the other piece we just picked up so I'm going to pocket that one all right, so we're gonna see if there's any more here. I found a big chunk here a couple days ago, so 
So there's probably more. Let's zoom out. Oh, well, here's a good example of sandstone down here. So this is a piece of sandstone. As you can see, it looks smooth when it's in water, but it's when you rub your thumb on it, it's really gritty and some of it will break off. Um, do not, I would not try and use this for hammer stones because they shatter and break really easily. So just keep that in mind when trying to pick a good hammer stone. I'm going to show you my hammer stone right now. Let me get it here. It's Okay, so here is my hammer stone. See, I've worn it down some on the edges. A little bit here. Get wet. Alright, this hammer stone is, I think it's a type of quartz. I'm not exactly sure because of the color that's underlying this dirt on the top. And it's definitely pretty strong. I've broken some pretty heavy rocks with it. So yeah, it's good. It's definitely not sandstone or it would have broken a long time ago. I've made that mistake before. So with that in mind, we'll keep going and see if we can find more rocks here. This far gets deeper, so uh, can't go too far. All right. So this guy right here might be some of that peanut butter stone. So we're going to break him open and see what he does. Okay. Well, on closer inspection, it's definitely not a consistent color. You can see that here. It's got varying, varying hues, so that's definitely not what we're looking for. So we can put it back. But should be a, should, there are some other good candidates here. So I can't keep my hand in here too long. It's just water's really cold this morning. So this is pretty consistent, but it starts coloring off here. And this rock, uh, you can't see it, but it's not very heavy, so I don't think this is that stone either. So we're going to move on. Alright, ah, dang it, I got my jacket wet. Oh well. Alright, let's see. This piece. Alright. This piece might be it. It's not as smooth well, on that side, but this side is pretty smooth. It's got some fractures. It does have some dirt on it, so. We're going to pause this now and then we're going to break some of this open.